Hello, hello, hello. Hello. <ríe> Buenas noches, ¿cómo está, Gloria? Bien, bien, teacher. Usted va a ser nuestro teacher. Sí, así dicen ambas las lenguas. Ay, bueno. <ríe> ¿Qué tal? ¿Cómo estamos? Bien, un poquito con frío. Sí, es verdad. Pero bien, bendito Dios. Ya está algo helado. <ríe> Sí. Bueno, vamos a esperar. Eh, ustedes eh, ya están en básico, no, intermedio, pre-intermedio 1, ¿verdad? Sí, correcto. Excelente. Ok, ¿cuánto tiempo ya ven el curso? Ese es mi segundo curso, mi segundo módulo. Segundo módulo, excelente, sí. ok. Ok, so we should be speaking in English. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> In English. Okay, good. Let's wait for the rest. Good evening, Carlos. Good evening, Jose. Okay. We're just waiting for the rest. Okay, did you watch the video? No. No, you didn't. didn't. The video that I sent to the group. No, 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 teacher. Okay. I sent you a video introducing myself. Uh, no. Okay. I so, didn't. so you could. I watched, I watched that video about you, bro. Okay. Okay. So let's, let's start, guys. Uh, we only have one hour. As I told you, um, I will be your teacher and Today, in today's lesson, we will talk about uh, transportation, you know, some very good topics. I have a question. Who reviewed the content on the website? No? I don't. No? Okay. <laughs> okay, it's very important for you to go on the website, you know, at Inglés Corporativo, online.inglescorporativo.net, so you can be on top, you know, and, and check what is the topic that we will talk about. Today we have to speak about, um, the class objective is about uh, adverse of frequency, to say how often, how often you do something. So, okay, let's start. Okay. Let me go ahead and, and start the class. Okay, I'm going to share my screen right now so we can um, see what you should be doing. I mean, I was expecting you to to read the website, you know, and and be here at this class objective. Let me make this bigger. Okay, so this is where we should be. So let's start. Let's start so we can practice a lot. Okay, that's the main purpose. Okay, uh, so... Who can help me reading the lesson objective? Me, teacher. In this lesson, participants will listen. I can see. Okay, let me help you. We listen a conversation about how often they do an activity. Excellent. Very good. Okay, now repeat with me. Gloria, very good reading. Repeat, about. 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 There about. you go. Okay, so in this lesson, participants will listen to a conversation about how often they do an activity. And let me correct that from the recording. It is not often, it's often. Okay, can you say it? Often. often. Okay, how often? So let's go with the video that you should have seen beforehand, okay? ¿Alguien se ha perdido con las instrucciones o lo que he dicho hasta este momento? ¿No? No. no. ¿Todo bien? Uh, qué chivo. Ok, muy bien. Tengo a Emperatriz. No. Ok, ya estamos todos. Muy bien. Ok, antes de proceder, ¿alguien tiene alguna pregunta, duda, inquietud? porque me decían que alguno, más de alguno no vio el video de mi presentación. 
Oh, yo no lo vi. Ok. Lo mandó al... Ni yo tampoco. <ríe> sí, lo envié al grupo. Al finalizar la clase se lo voy a enviar de nuevo para que me conozcan un poquito. Um, so, my name Thank is you. Rafael Linares. Ok. So, you nice can... To <ríe> nice to meet you too. Ok. Pregunta, ¿están viendo...? Ok. ¿Están viendo en este momento... Eh, eh, la página web de inglés corporativo o... no 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 okay están viendo que escribo yeah. sí sí okay no teacher okay okay can no, you see solo se ve una pantalla gris una pantalla gris okay sí eso veo hmm. Okay, uh -huh. ahora sí. Okay, very good. Thank you. Good. So, I was telling you, my name is Rafael Linares. I'm 38 years old, and I am your teacher, as somebody mentioned before. Not that old. Not that old. No, I'm not old. I have six years. Um, I have six years teaching. I have taught for four years here at Inglés Corporativo. Okay, I'm gonna leave my name here so you don't forget it. Okay, so let's move on with um, the class of today. I will play the video. If you have any questions, let me know. Okay. Okay. Here we go. One, two, three. I usually just watch TV in my free time. Oh. I guess. There you go. Hello. We're now in section six. How often do you exercise? In this lesson, participants will listen to a conversation about how often they do an activity. Pay attention to the question, how often, and what they use to respond. I hardly ever exercise. You're really fit, Paul. Do you exercise a lot? Well, I almost always get up early, and I lift weights for an hour. Seriously? Sure. And then I often go inline skating. Wow. How often do you exercise like that? About five times a week. What about you? Oh, I hardly ever exercise. I usually just watch TV in my free time. I guess I'm a real couch potato. Okay. Uh, were you able to listen? Yes, but I can. Yes. Yes, I but can. I don't see clear. You didn't see the video? Who? Uh, me, not because the screen, it was uh, borrosa. <laughs> Okay, you say blurry, blurry. Mm -hmm. Okay, for you explain just a word as well. Oh, no, teacher. It's dim. La pantalla se ve borrosa y no se ve. Okay, what about now? Y ahora, y ahora, ¿cómo se ve? No. Fine. ¿Ya se mira bien? Yeah. Ahora sí. No. Ok, bye. With, with you, yes. Yo creo que nos está fallando el internet a muchos por eso, teacher. Mm, ok, necesito saber si, si mejoró o no, porque lo que hice fue apagar eh, mi iluminación. Creo que se nota. Mm. Ok. Bien, bien, entonces, let's move on, continuemos. Um, ¿Alguien me sigue una pregunta por ahí? ¿No? No. Ok, okay let's move on then. Um, volvamos al video. Voy a enseñarles algo, eh, si no lo han visto, no creo que un problema de este video es que está muy rápido, entonces acá pueden ustedes reducir la velocidad, ¿sí? ¿Por qué? Porque es importante escuchar y repetir. Y eso es lo que les voy a pedir que hagan. 
antes de la clase, ustedes deben haber revisado el material que está en online.inglescorporativo.net. Sí, okay. so, ¿Para qué? Para estar seguros de poder haber hecho eh, un par de ejercicios, ¿no? Sí, haber practicado. Porque la clave es la repetición. I hardly ever Ok, so, por ejemplo, bien, acá tenemos, ¿eh? voy a leerlo yo primero de la manera en la que ustedes deberían de escucharlo y ustedes luego pronuncian, ¿sí? Luego repiten, eh, pero eso sí, les voy a poner en silencio a todos para que eh, pueda cada quien sin pena. <risa> Ok, para que puedan sin pena pronunciar uno por uno. Luego vamos a practicar todos juntos, ¿ok? Let's do it. Bien. So, Mary, you are, así, you are really fit, Paul. You are really fit, Paul. Do you exercise a lot? Ok. You're really fit, Paul. Do you exercise a lot? Well, I almost always get up early and lift and I lift weights for an hour. Well, I almost always get up early and lift weights for an hour. Seriously? De nuevo, seriously? Sure. Sure. And then I often go inline skating. Wow. How often do you exercise like that? Wow. How often do you exercise like that? About five times a week. About five times a week. What about you? What about you? Oh, I hardly ever exercise. I usually just, I usually just watch, watch TV in my free time. I guess I'm a real Couch potato, couch potato. Okay, so I'm going to unmute you guys. Okay, hold on. Okay, let's go back. So who wants to help me? Reading? Me teacher. Yes. In the light. In the light. Uh -huh. In... You're really fit, Paul. Can you send the WhatsApp group? Who's talking? Wait. Carlos, come, come again. Come again. Can you send the picture of the WhatsApp group? Si, si puede mandar la imagen, mejor el grupo de WhatsApp, porque ahí, ahí podemos ver más claro y podemos practicar. Sure. Hey, keep, keep it going in English. That's okay. <laughs> you were speaking very well right now just one second okay. okay there you go you got it on the whatsapp group okay better Okay, so let's continue. Um, now, I need someone to help me. Kenya, is your internet better? Yes, yes, it's better. Okay, good. So, Carlos, why don't you help me? I think so. Okay, good, Kenya. Kenya, let's start. Kenya and Carlos. Kenya, you are Mary, 
Carlos, you are Paul. Okay. Okay, okay. One, two, three, okay. go. You are really fit, Paul. Do you do you exercise a lot? Well, I almost always get up. I lift. No la puedo ver, teacher. I lift weights for Wait. an hour. No. Seriously? Sure. And then I often go in the in line. In line in line skating. Skating. Wow, how often? Wow, how often do you exercise like that? About five times a week. What about you? Oh, I hardly ever exercise. I usually just watch TV in my free time. I wish I am real couch potato. Excellent. Very good. Okay. So just remember, let me share something else for you. Be on the same page. Here we go. Okay. So we have exercise. Poco. Hello. Por qué? No. <laughs> Guys, let's stay with the topic. Pay attention. Okay. Everybody, listen. Exercise. Exercise. Who said? Exercise. Who said? Wait, there's a question. Who said I have a question? No. No questions? Uh, why is getting sick? Why no question. Yeah, me, teacher, me, guys. Come on, guys. Jose. I Jose. don't know why, 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 the, why in the sent, sentiments, can you say in line and not on? In line skating is a sport. So, yeah, I know. Oh, yeah, I know. I am scared for that. I, I asked you the way you say, because it's a roller. No, that's the point. It's not a roller. Uh, the kind of skates that you use is one line of rollers. It's not... Oh, okay, okay. It's not four, four wheels. It's not four wheels. It's four wheels in one line. That's a reason. <laughs> okay. Oh, okay. Oh, got it? Okay, okay. Thanks. Hey, what's up? Got, got, got it. Got it. There you go. Okay, guys. So let's repeat. Got it. I got it. <laughs> let's repeat. Exercise. 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 Inline skating. Inline skating. Okay. Bien. Y la última, vamos a unir palabras para poder hablar bien el inglés de una manera más natural. Hay que entender cuando, que cuando hay una T entre dos vocales, suena a R, ¿ok? So, si dice, what about you, no, ¿ok? Tenemos que decir, what about you. Excellent, María, very good. What about you? <laughs> Okay, can you, okay, everybody, listen. What about you? Go. What about, what about, you? about, you? What about you? Perfect. Okay, now remember. What about you? Good, very good, Kenya. Now, just remember, you don't say you, because you, you, you sounds like this, right? You. Okay. So don't do this. No, don't say you. You have to say you. You. What about you? Excellent, guys. Okay. Very good. Other than that, that was awesome. Maria, would you like to be Mary? <laughs> of course. Okay, Danny, can you be Paul? <laughs> okay. Thank you, everybody. Pay attention. One, two, three, go. 
You really fit, Paul. Do you exercise a lot? Well, I almost always get up early and I leave to wait for an hour. Seriously? Sure. And then I often go in the line skating. Wow, how often do you exercise like that? About five times a week. What about you? Oh, I, ha I hardly ever exercise. I usually just watch TV in my free time. I guess I am real coach potato. Okay, excellent. One close. Great job. Okay. Uh, more feedback, guys. That was good. That was very good. Let's repeat and make sure that you pronounce the final sound of the ex of the uh, word. For example, you say exercise. Exercise. You ah, there you go. Exercise. Exercise. There you go. Exercise. Very good. It's like if at the end you were saying the word size. Okay. Exercise. Yep. Okay. Then the next word, Maria, you say usually. 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 Better. Usually. 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 There you go. Now, <laughs> thank you. You're welcome. Now you also say "amma," "amma," "amma." Mm -hmm. I'm a real couch potato, and I said it. I'm sorry. I'm a real couch potato. I'm a real couch potato. Yeah, there's a difference between couch and coach. Okay. So, let's move on. Anybody has any questions? Any questions? No questions? No, no. Okay, let's move on. So, moving on to the next section. Um, if you don't have any questions about the conversation, about the text in the conversation, let's continue then. of the full screen so we can go to the next part of the lesson so we are talking about adverbs of frequency adverbs of frequency Jose could you help me Jose Cabrero <laughs> Jose Cabrero I didn't know <laughs> Okay, okay. okay. In the end of this session, you will learn how to ask and ask questions using address of questions. Okay, do me a favor. Can you get your microphone closer? And do it, do it slowly, slowly. Okay? One, two, my three. My apologies. Apologies. <laughs> By the end of this session, you will learn how to ask and ask questions. Excellent. Okay. Well done, Jose. Very good. So let's repeat this. Ask. Jose? Ask. Okay. Look at me. Ask. 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 <laughs> no. You have to say the, the final sound of every word. Look at me. The final sound. Sorry, teacher. I not get to use it. Oh, I didn't get that. Se te está cortando el internet, José. Ok, tenemos que... Y esto, no se preocupen. Es mi método, es mi manera de enseñar. Eh, la corrección en el momento es muy importante. Todas las palabras en inglés tienen un sonido final. Y eso es lo que complica las cosas a la hora de hablar. Es la única cosa que te complica al hablar, que te puede hacer que no te entienda un americano, por ejemplo. En este caso, si tú solo dices as, a s, es una mala palabra con dos s, y pues con una s eh, quiere decir como, 
Es una conjunción. ¿Ok? En este caso tenemos que aprender el sonido K. Y eso viene de acá, José, mira. Intentalo, José, si decís K. So you say ask. Excelente, José. Muy bien. Como que si estuvieras diciendo la palabra asco, pero le quitas la O. ¿Ok? Otra palabra que solemos decir como answer porque no estamos acostumbrados a leer como eh, la W en medio de una palabra en nuestro español, ¿no? Esto no sería answer, sino answer. Repeat. Answer. Ok, se fue. Answer. Answer. Ok. Answer. Perfect. Answer. Y la siguiente palabra también, guys. Van a escuchar mucho, de muchos profesores incluso, que dicen question. Question. No. So you say question. Question. Ok. Question. Question. There you go. Question. Ok, let's correct that. Vamos a corregir eso de una sola vez, ok? Es muy importante decir question. Let's see. Um, Iris? Sí. You say question. Question. Very good. Now let's pluralize it. Questions. 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 Perfect. There you go. Great job. Okay. And lastly, we say frequency. Frequency. Let's see. Frequency. Okay. So listen, by the end of this session, you will learn how to ask and answer questions using adverbs of frequency. Okay, so let's talk about adverbs of frequency. And yes, let's watch the video one more time. So we can have this topic clear. Can you see my screen? Yes, yes. yes. And yes. the video. Okay, here goes the video. Let's, yes. let's pay attention. By the end of this session, you will learn how to ask and answer questions using adverbs of frequency. Hi everyone, in this session we will go over adverbs of frequency to indicate how often or not you do something. Let's listen up. How often do you exercise? I lift weights every day. I go jogging once a week. I play soccer twice a month. I swim about three times a year. I don't exercise very often. I don't exercise very much. Do you ever watch TV in the evening? Yes, I often watch TV after dinner. I sometimes watch TV before bed. Sometimes I watch TV before bed. I hardly ever watch TV. No, I never watch TV. Okay. Always. Almost always. Usually. Often. Sometimes, hardly ever, almost never, never. I think it would help to know the position of the adverbs of frequency in a sentence. Subject plus adverb of frequency plus verb plus complement. So let's replace the structure with real sentences. He never plays baseball. We always go for a run. You hardly ever swim. Notice the position of the adverbs. Never, always, hardly ever. But let's talk about sometimes. Sometimes is a special case. It can go in the same position as the rest, or it can go at the beginning or at the end of a sentence. For example, I sometimes go to a dance class. Sometimes I go to a dance class. I go to a dance class sometimes. How about you? How often do you exercise? How often do you do any sports activity? Okay, good. So, I think the topic is very clear. Oops, 
one second. Hi everyone. In this class, you'll learn how to form my bad questions. Additionally, you'll practice a comment. Okay, so we were here. Let's go back to the beginning and go back to the full screen. I think the lesson is very um, self-explanatory. You hear? I think the lesson was very self-explanatory. Okay. So, what are we doing with this video? We're gonna start. We're gonna start uh, practicing among ourselves. Okay. Do you have any question? Are there any yeah. questions? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Go ahead. Just one. Just I want to know what is the meaning hardly ever. Hardly ever. Har hardly ever. Casi nunca. Okay. okay. Mm -hmm. Thanks, Thanks, You're welcome. You're welcome. That's a good question. Any other question? We almost never. Almost Casi never. never. Casi nunca también. And there you have. I just send you the picture. I just send you the picture of this video because we need to practice. So it's on your WhatsApp if you want to see it. Now let's talk about pronunciation. Listen, pronunciation. It's not pronunciation. <laughs> pronunciation. Pronunciation. Yeah, repeat. Cover your nose. Co co cover your nose. The, now say pronunciation. Pronunciation. Ah. <laughs> it is. Cover your nose. Now say pronunciation. 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 Okay. Bien, no soy nativo, no nací en Estados Unidos, pero ya llevo 31 años hablando inglés todos los días. Entonces, eh, les animo a que traten de imitar eso. La N es un sonido nasal, ¿sí? Y por eso se te queda trabado acá el sonido. ¿Sí sentiste? Sentías como que pronan, como que querías decir niño. Iris, una vez más, tapes en la nariz y diga niño. Niño. <ríe> y la N... <ríe> ¿Sí? No sale, no sale la N, ¿verdad? No, no se escucha. Ok. Entonces, así tiene ese sentir, ese sentir al pronunciar la palabra nine, por ejemplo, nine, el número nueve, Va a sonar así, tenés que sentir eso. Es decir, nine. Yeah? Pronunciation. Ok. Pronunciation. Pronunciation. Muy bien. Ok, so let's check the pronunciation of these words. And we started by the main question. The main question of this um, class is how often do you exercise? How often do you exercise, Kenya? I, I do exercise. I always do exercise. I always do exercise. Okay. Yes. Let's check something really quick. I always do exercise. Hmm. Yeah. Is that correct, Jose? Uh, I don't know. You, you heard it. Oh, maybe, <laughs> maybe, teacher, maybe I do exercise every day. I do exercise every day. Yes. Two verbs. Do exercise. Mm, maybe I do exercises. Mm, no, both are correct. La palabra exercise is verbo y noun también. Palabra y verbo, okay? Teacher, why? Teacher, why would you make the the long the short the short answer answer the short answer where we cannot do okay no no te entiendo la pregunta perdón José se te corta disculpa 
Ah, ok, el chat. <risa> Ok. No se puede hacer. Respuesta corta. Ok. Can you make a short question? That's your question. Ok. Huh. Yeah. How do you do it? You just need to use the uh, frequency outdoor. So, how often do you exercise? You can say, never. Or just, always. Or, mm, sometimes. Sometimes. You know. Is that your... Your question, Jose? Yeah, yeah. Perfect. Question. By the way, Jose, how often do you exercise? Uh, I never do exercise. You never do exercise? Uh, I, I, I so, no, it's like that. My exercise, I don't know. Uh, okay. My, my sport is skate. No, no, push oh. away. Hey, but no skating, no, skating. No, no, if, no lift weight, no lift weight. No weight lifting. No, uh, weight. no weight lifting. No there you go. Lifting. Very good, Jose. No weight lifting. Okay, Gloria. Hello. Oh, Gloria is Hello. missing. Hello. How often do you exercise? Oh, we lost her. Okay, we lost Gloria, I think. Her connection. Okay, let me go down below here. We have Carla, Carla Iriondo. Hello. Hello, teacher. How are you? Doing great. I'm awesome, actually. I'm great today. Carla, how often do you exercise? I don't exercise very much. You don't exercise very much? Okay. Hmm. I don't exercise very much. That sounds right. That sounds good too. Abigail. Hello. Hello, Abigail. How are you? Fine, and you, teacher. I'm great too. Thanks for asking. Abigail, how often do you exercise? I never exercise. Do, no, I never do exercise. Mm, yes, you can say, I never exercise. I never exercise. Sure. Yes? Yeah, and it's possible to say, uh, um, I doesn't exercise? I doesn't? No. No, because does is for he, she, it. And do is for I, do, it. Third person. Third person, that's right. I done exercise. I right. teacher. Okay. One second. Les comento que estoy tomando nota de alguna um, estructura mala que ustedes digan. Y um, voy a tomar unos minutos al final de la clase siempre para reforzar eso un poquito. Okay, pero súper rápido, no se preocupen. Okay, so, ¿qué vamos a hacer? Vamos a practicar con esta pregunta, how often do you exercise? Y pueden cambiarla. Por ejemplo, eh, ¿quién más tenemos por acá? Oscar, eh, por ejemplo, podría decir, how often do you watch TV? How often do you watch TV? Uh, Kenia podría decir, how often do you go to los planes de renderos? ¿Sí? Uh -huh. You got it? Okay. Okay. A stool. A stool. Podría decir, um, do you ever go to the movies? Do you ever go to the movies? So, don't forget, there is a structure. This is the structure that you should follow. Esta es la estructura que deberíamos estar siguiendo. Paso a paso. Se lo voy a enviar ahorita al grupo también para que ustedes se ubiquen. ¿Alguien tiene alguna pregunta? Any questions? Uh, yes, it's correct response with the verb do uh, in this que question. Okay, is it is it okay to use the verb do in these questions? How often do you do how often do you do uh, homework? How often do you do homework? 
Yes, do you do? Do you do? ¿Ya vieron el presente simple? Yes, yes. Ok, perfecto. Tiende a confundirse, yes. el, tiene, tiende a confundirse el uso del do. Eh, mm -hmm. Cuando uno es auxiliar y el otro es verbo. Ya. Yeah. So, how often do you do? Uh, mm -hmm. okay. how, often, you. how often do you do your homework? You're welcome. Ok, bien, los voy a dividir en grupos. He eh, enviado ya al WhatsApp cada una de las herramientas. Hello. Do you ever teach English in the corporativo? Uh, repeat again, Jose. Do you ever get? Do you ever uh, teach English in the corporativo? <laughs> Do you ever eat English? Si alguna vez como inglés, en inglés corporativo. English. I don't know how to say inglés corporativo in English. Oh, no. Los nombres propios no se traducen en inglés. Buen punto. Oh, okay, okay. Perfecto. Buen punto. Excelente, José. Ok, bien, les voy a dividir en grupos. El punto es practicar, practicar, repetir, repetir hasta decir ya no. Y lo voy a estar visitando en cada uno de sus grupos, ¿ok? Ok. okay. ¿Alguien podría reenviar la imagen? Acabo de ingresar al grupo. Ahorita mismo lo hago yo. Oh, gracias. Eh, teacher, yo no estoy en ese grupo. Ah, ok. Bien, en este momento vamos a, a arreglar eso, ¿ok? Un segundito. Ok, permítanme un minuto. Ok, bien, por algún motivo seré honesto con ustedes, no me aparece la función de eh, los classrooms para poder eh, para poderlo dividir en grupos. Por algún motivo me aparece deshabilitada la función en este momento, pero vamos a continuar así. Ok, good. So, vamos a ocupar otra dinámica, ok. Let's see. Gloria, can you select Hi, somebody? Teacher. Hi, can you select somebody? Let me see the names. I don't remember. Uh, Abigail? Abby, Abigail, okay. Hello? Thank you. Abigail, can you select one more person? One? One more person, yes. Wait. Four? Para quién? Uh, just do it. Just do it. Select one name. Uh, entonces va dirigida para Dani. Dani, okay. So, Abigail and Dani. How often, how often do you eat pizza? I never. Hardly yeah. ever. I hardly ever eat pizza because I don't like. You don't like pizza? What? Really? Yeah. Wow. Yes. So, my word not just permission for a fat people. Okay. <laughs> so you don't like pizza? I okay. Don't like pizza. 
Okay. Hey guys, again, it's often, often. Okay, often, often. Often. There you go. Yes. It's not often. It's often. Often. Okay. So how often, Danny? Great job, Abigail. Can you return? Thank re you. Return the question to Abigail. Um, the same. Yeah, same. Uh, no, make up your question. Make up your question. Uh, but I don't have a the the image in my WhatsApp. Oh, relax. Oh, I didn't share it with you. I'm sorry. Let me put it here again. There we go. Okay, there you go. Do you see it, Danny? No, I don't see the image. When in the in the WhatsApp group or in here? No, here in the, on the video, on the session. Oh, okay. Yes. So, okay, let's go with the question that you said. How often do you... Okay. Not yet? No? Okay. Let me do something else. And I don't remember the name of my classmate. Abby. Okay. Abigail. Abby. Sorry, so sorry. <laughs> it's okay. Don't worry. Okay, so let's see. You have to say how often, right? How often do you, and then you change this. Do you, okay? Can somebody help me? Give me examples. Give me examples. And play soccer. Hey, so How often do you go to the mall? Excellent, go to the mall. How often cook. do you play cards? Do you cook? How often cook. do you play cards? Dance. Dance. Get uh, drunk. <laughs> <laughs> How often do you get drunk? Very good. Okay. How often get drunk, do you drunk. Drugs now. Aisa dice, how often do you get high? Do you oh. get high? Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's what, we're, that's what we're doing. So, estamos preguntando la frecuencia con la que... Track is for medicine. For medicine. Who say, drugs. Who say, who say get high? Who say get Drug high? Drugstore is... Rockstar. Chair. Yes. What's the meaning of skate? Skate. Jose, what is a skate? Patinar. Pero, pero no patinar de que, no patinar de que te patina, <laughs> sino que patinar el deporte. <laughs> There, there, there are different kinds of ways of skate, right? Not just with four wheels. Yes, there are different kinds of skate. Okay, guys, I will send you this image too. Okay, adverse of frequency. This is very important. And you have how often you use them. You have always, siempre, a hundred percent. I always study, I always take a shower, for example. I usually, okay, usually walk to work, es un 90%. Normally or generally, son muy parecidos también. Often, frequently, okay, sometimes, algunas veces, occasionally, ocasionalmente, seldom, es como decir, no siempre, es bien raro que yo lo haga. I seldom put salt on my food. Rara vez pongo sal en mi comida. Hardly ever or rarely, se parece muchísimo también. Rarely, raramente. I hardly ever get angry. And never, quiere decir nunca. Una observación con never es que te va a hacer negativa una oración positiva. ¿Cómo así? 
yo, si yo te digo, I don't exercise, ¿ok? Si yo te digo, I don't exercise, no te, yo no puedo decir, I don't never exercise. ¿Ya? Yeah. Sino que... Es doble negación. Excellent, it's double neglecting, yes. You say, I don't exercise, or you say, I never exercise. Ok. You say, I never exercise. Ahí lo que ustedes prefieran, I never exercise, or I don't exercise. Ok. Y aquí está la fórmula de nuevo que tienen que utilizar el sujeto, el adverbio de frecuencia y el verbo en su forma base. Si se está utilizando el verbo to be, ¿sí? En la, el adverbio iría después del verbo to be. Miren, he is always happy. ¿Ok? She is never here, podemos decir. Ella nunca está aquí. She is never here. ¿Tienen alguna pregunta? Guys, do you have any questions? Yes. Yep. Yeah. I do remember what is your name. My name is Rafael Linares. Oh, thank you, teacher. Ok. De nuevo, le voy a enviar ahorita esta imagen. Creo que le envié. Eh, bien. Ahí estamos. Bien, chicos. Eh, vamos a revisar rápido si hay algún otro ejercicio que realizar. A continuación, después de esta clase, viene un knowledge check. Si les gusta, vamos a pasar rápido a hacer eso. Solo nos quedan nueve minutos. ¿Dónde estamos? Aquí está. Ok. Bien. En su, compu en su um, computadora o en su celular, necesito que vayan a la página y puedan ir al Knowledge Check, que es lo siguiente, ¿no? Recuerden que esta es la única... Escucho un feedback ahí. Eh, perdón. Recuerden que esta es la única prueba que nos queda de que ustedes han atendido a su clase, de que van avanzando en el programa. So, si tienen alguna pregunta con el contenido que hemos visto ahora, me pueden escribir al chat y yo con gusto les estaré respondiendo. Eh, so, necesito que vayan a la plataforma y, y realicen todos estos ejercicios. Vamos, ¿cuántos son? Ok. Está fácil, porque lo único que van a hacer es ir seleccionando uno por uno. Veamos. Eh, Kenia. Hi, Kenia. Hello, Kenia. Hello, hello. Okay. Do you play sports? Hi, teacher. My internet don't work. Is, uh, yes, I do. ¿Cuál sería la respuesta acá? Do you have... play sports? Yes, I play sport. Ok. Ahora, nos están pidiendo que corrijamos la pregunta y usar el adverbio de frecuencia ever. Mm -hmm. ¿Cuál, ser, ¿Cuál sería la correcta? Do you ever play sports? Ever you play sports? Or do you play sports ever? Do you ever play well. sports? Perfect. Oh. Yes, the first option. Great job. Ok. Mirna, thank you, Kenya. You're welcome, teacher. Hello, Mirna. Hello. ¿Cuál sería la respuesta acá? Sure, I play soccer. Y vamos a ocupar twice a week. Sure, I play soccer. Sure, I play soccer twice a week. Excellent. Very good. En ese caso, ese twice a week va al final de la oración. Siempre una recomendación, escúchense a ustedes mismos cómo se, cómo se oye lo que están pronunciando. Ok. So, 
Sí, diferente, ¿no? Sure, I twice a week play soccer. Sería raro. Twice a week, sure, I play soccer. No, ¿verdad? Es como que si fuera el enanito verde de Star Wars. Ok. Good, guys. Eh, por favor, vayan a la plataforma para poder llevar a cabo ese ejercicio. ¿Verdad? Y así mañana continuamos okay. con la siguiente unidad. ¿Alguna pregunta? No. No questions. Ok. Bien, les veo mañana a las 8 en punto también. Eh, si no hay alguna otra pregunta, eh, voy a estar acá durante los siguientes dos minutos. ¿Alguien va a realizar ahorita su, su prueba? Yes. Ok, excelente. Entonces, dígame. Uh, I have a question. Um, tomorrow in the morning, can I, uh, can I do the homework? No. Yes. Tiene que ser ahorita. No, no, no. Ah, la, okay. puedes, la puedes realizar mañana también. Una, un consejo que yo aplico mucho es que uh, no dejar para el día siguiente lo que puedes hacer ahora. Pero si definitivamente no lo puedes hacer, pues tomar nota en alguna parte o poner una alarma en el celular funciona mucho. Ok. <ríe> ok. Good, guys. Bueno, ¿alguna otra pregunta? Hola. Sí, okay. Yes. Eh, para estar en el grupo de WhatsApp. Ah, ok. Eh, Mirna, Mirna. Mmm, en el correo que se les envió aparece básicamente el, el link al que hay, hay que darle clic para... Estamos. Ahí aparece el link al que hay que unirse eh, para poder accesar al grupo. Ok. Bueno, mucho gusto. Que pasen okay. una feliz noche. Good night to you guys. Good night. Good Take care. Night. Good night, teacher. Good night, you bye too. Bye. Thank you. Good night. Bye. Bye. Bye.